All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video of East Coast Manga. So today, as you can tell, we're in the car. Gonna be doing a manga shopping video. Um, also, just wanna mention, we're gonna be going over to the mall. So I'll show you some footage of Newberry Comics and Box Lunch. If you don't know what Box Lunch is, it's kind of like this little anime store type thing, anime slash, I don't know, like Harry Potter, just kind of nerd stuff. And uh, they have them in some malls. They're kind of small, they're not that big, but sometimes they'll have some like kind of cool figures or um, some clothing and stuff. So I'll show you some footage of that too. After that, we will go to Barnes and Noble and then I will uh, show you guys what I get. Also want to do something different. So I wanted to give back to you guys, obviously these videos, I'm buying a ton of manga for myself. I've done kind of a collab with, um, or I did a collab with the Manga Sloth and doing some like kind of a giveaway with that way back in the day, but figured I would also give you guys an option to get some stuff this video. So um, I'm doing a giveaway with this video. All you have to do is comment down below which series you would want to win. Um, I'll pick, uh, I use a random comment generator. Also, it's super hot, so I apologize. But um, I'm gonna use a random comment picker, uh, picker. So all you have to do is comment down below and then also helps if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter as I'll probably announce it on there as well. Um, but you have the option, maybe two totally different collectors. So I wanna give both people an option. So the first option, if you want to win, or sorry, if you do win is Sweat and Soap Volume 1. Um, this comes highly recommended. There's also a box set coming out. So if you don't have this already, you can check it out if you win it. Um, and you can see if you want to collect the box set. Then the other series, which is like the total opposite side of the spectrum in terms of manga collectors, uh, we played the Immortal Volume 1. This is the Omnibus. So uh, yeah, the giveaway, I'll pick a winner like five days after uh, this video comes out. So five days after this video comes out, I'll do a YouTube post. I'll also reply to your comments. Um, so you'll need to DM me on either Instagram or Twitter. So that's also why you want to follow me on there if you're not already following me. Um, but yeah, you guys have the option of either winning Sweat and Soap or Blade of the Immortal. And why I picked those, I don't know, just totally random. I had some extra copies and I wanted to uh, give back to you guys. All right, so the first stop is Newberry Comics. Um, Newberry Comics, I've actually never been to this one before. They have a bunch kind of in my city, in my state. But uh, they're doing a buy one, get one 50% off of all manga and novels or light novels, which is really cool because that is obviously better than retail. Um, some Alice in Borderland, which is great. Uh, then we also have some Classroom of the Elite, which I'm still waiting for a reprint on the box set. I think it's kind of getting reprinted some places, but typically I also wait for Amazon to uh, lower the price, which I think we all need on box sets. But a lot of Banana Fish is getting reprinted, but Volume 16 is unfortunately still not reprinted. Um, Berserk Singles, which is amazing to see. It's always nice to see those. Uh, Black Butler, like always. Uh, some Blade of the Immortal, uh, which I am giving away in this video. Uh, Blackbird box set, which is kind of cool to see, as I feel like that kind of went out of stock for a little while. Uh, Blue Period, a lot of Boruto, and we've Boxed a Light in the Corner. wasn't a huge fan of that. Uh, Buddha, Called the Night, which is very good, up to Volume 8. Um, let's see, let's see. Sales at Work, I feel like people don't really talk about Sales at Work anymore. I was never really a huge fan. Uh, Chainsaw Man, of course, gotta have some Chainsaw Man. Um, but Children of, the, Children of the Whales, which I might get into. They do have a couple volume ones. We'll see, we'll see. Um, also Cirque de Freak, which um, Manga Soft likes. But yeah, Children of the Whales, they do have a couple volume ones, which I don't really see too often. I don't think they're out of stock or anything like that. I just don't really see them that much. Uh, Claymore, which I think some box sets also needed. But uh, Corpse Party, um, they don't have Volume 4, which is super out of print, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. A lot of Danganronpa. Um, yeah, Deadpool. That's odd. Uh, if you guys have read the Deadpool manga or whatever in the world that was, let me know. Um, Delicious in Dungeon, I've not heard a lot of people talk about recently. I feel like it was talked about at a, at, at a certain point, but then kind of died off. Uh, then you got Peak Fiction, Dick Fight Island, um, Devil Ecstasy, Demon Slayer. Yeah, kind of your typical stuff. Dr. Stone Spines look amazing like usual. Um, some Dora Hidoro, always nice to see. Uh, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, some Doubt and Doubt, Doubt, whatever the question marks are. Um, Dragon Quest. <clears throat> Ice Shield 21, which is always random. Always have random volumes. Uh, Elfin Lead or Elfin Lied, they never have Volume One, which is unfortunate. 
I, I wouldn't mind checking out volume one, but they just never have it uh, anywhere I go. Don't know if it's out of stock or whatever, but they just don't really have it. Um, Fire Punch. A lot of volumes of Fire Punch. RIP to anyone who paid over retail. Fruits Basket Spines always look great. Full Metal. Uh, Gantz. Gigant. Yep. Um, a lot of Golden Kamoi. Like to see it. Or Kamoi, however you pronounce it. I'm sure I pronounce it wrong. Um, Good night, Pun Pun. Happiness. IQ. I'm sure IQ is probably going to get a box set soon. I mean, why wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A uh, bunch of volumes I have no idea about. No volume 2 of Hell's Paradise. Sick. Uh, never have Hell's Paradise volume 2. Uh, just absolutely amazing. None of these stores. Uh, Horde Mia, I got volume 1 of. I'll let you guys know in the future what I think of it. I didn't get it in this video, but I got it before this video. Um, some other volumes I don't really know too much about. Got all of Hunter Hunter, so that's all set. A couple I Am a Hero volumes. Dark Horse was supposed to reprint that. Doesn't look like it happened. Ikigami, The Ultimate Limit. Super underrated. Uh, amazing story. Or not amazing story, sorry. Really cool concept. Um, and then lots of JoJo's. Next shelf. Uh, more JoJo's. And then we also have some, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Lots of volumes of Jujutsu Kaisen. Not a huge, not a huge fan. Uh, tried to get into Kaguya-sama. Didn't really like volume one. I only gave it about 20 pages, to be fair. I still have the volume. I'll maybe go back to it at some point, but, yeah. Um, Kakiguri, I think that's how you pronounce it. Not sure. Really like season one of the anime. Uh, Komi Can't Communicate. I haven't read it, but I heard it's okay. Uh, Kuroko's Basketball. Kuroko's Basketball, I feel like people aren't going to hype up until it starts going out of print. I have not read it, and I haven't really heard much about it, but, you know, I don't know. That is that is my guess, and I will stay true to that. Uh, Magi. Mao. Um, Mobile Suit Thunderbolt, I heard people really, really like if they're into Mobile Suit. Mashal. Peak fiction. Um, Mob Psycho. Monster. Monster Musume. Um, yeah, Moriarty. I might get it, might get back into that. We'll see. And my Hero. Ton of My Hero. Uh, if you're up to date on My Hero, let me know what you think. I'm not up to date, but you can let me know what you think. Nana. Which is pretty hype that people are seeing. Um, Noragami. That's getting some omnibuses. Or omnibus, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean... There's some, there's some good stuff in here. There's definitely some good stuff in here. A lot of Parasite. Um, they're coming out with a full color edition for that, though. So if you're thinking about getting it, I would maybe hold off. Maybe see what the uh, the full color editions look like. Because I'm sure those are going to be really nice. Uh, Prison School. Love to see it. Um, some box sets down there. Uh, let's see. Quintessential Quintuplets. Surprised they still got so many singles. I feel like that series kind of fell off in popularity. Rent a Girlfriend. Rent a... Uh, I don't know, rent a mid. I can't even think of <laughs> something funny for that. Uh, Roni Kenshin, Volume 4. It's a pretty common vo uh, volume to find for the Vizbigs. Probably the most common volume I've found. St. Young Men, I'd like to check out, but I just don't want to spend all that money on the hardcovers, and I don't know if I'm going to like it. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins, these are really nice. I like those, actually. Um, that's probably the way I'd collect them, through the omnibuses. But, yeah. Uh, Soul Leveling, Nice Spines, Soul Eater, Spy Family, of course. Um... Yeah, bunch of kind of random volumes. Uh, Sweat and Soap, still waiting on the box set for that. I am super interested in that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vagabond, they actually have a decent amount of Vagabond, which is cool. Uh, very cool. Some Vinland Saga. Um, some Water Koi, Witch Hat, Atelier. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not 100% sure. Um, some Yu-Gi-Oh! volumes. Not the one I need, though. But, yeah. This is the uh, little shot of the manga section right here. Uh, this is box launch. This is pretty cool, but it was, like, very super small. Um, bunch of Haikyuu stuff. That's uh, My Hero stuff right there. But they have a lot of, like, anime merch. Um, a couple figures. You know, some tees right here. A couple figures over here. It's overall cool. I love to have it in the mall and stuff like that. I would say, you know, it, nothing I wanted to pick up that day, but still pretty cool. And then we have Bomba over at, uh, we're not, so now we're over at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I just wanted to show off Bomba and kind of the way that it's cut. It's very interesting. Um, I like it personally. 
I saw someone on Reddit complain about it, and they didn't realize it was supposed to be like that, but it is what it is. So, but I'll show you guys just a quick run through, uh, run through of Barnes and Noble. Um, well, we won't spend too much time over here, but uh, just showing you everything. Just showing you guys everything they have. Um, so yeah, decent stock. This is also Barnes and Noble. I had never been to before. I would say it's not. Actually, I've been here once before, but I wouldn't say it's the best selection. Uh, but they do get stuff decently early. Uh, some Barnes Nobles get more early stuff than others, and sometimes you see stuff at like one Barnes Noble that's in stock, and it's not in stock in the other one yet. Um, so this one's usually pretty good with the stocking of early volumes. But yeah, we got some Dragon Ball, um, lots of Dragon Quest, which is great to see. Uh, some Fairy Tale, Fire Force. Uh, going through, going through, going through. Yeah, nothing that has stood out to me so far. Uh, girl on the other s girl from the other side. They're coming out with a deluxe edition with that for that, so I'm super happy about that. Uh, I think it's gonna be really, really nice. Hell's Paradise, no volume two, actually worse selection than at Newberry Comics. Let's see, Ibitsu. That's how you pronounce it. I haven't really heard anyone talk about that. I know it's a horror manga, but I have not heard many people talk about it. Which, but it's always it seems to be stocked. If you guys know if Mashuko Tensei is any good, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I am kind of interested just because it sounds like a familiar name, but I don't know anything about it. Um, so you have to let me know on that. But yeah, some Noragami. Really like those spines. I wonder how the omnibuses are going to look, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, those are coming out. Orient Volume 9, that's crazy. I I can't even believe there's nine volumes out. It seemed like it came out like yesterday. Uh, Ragnar Crimson, bunch of volumes for that, which is nice. Or not a bunch of volumes, but all in sync. Uh, Promise Neverland, gotta have some of those for your, you know, readers who have not collected it yet. Uh, Rent to Mid, uh, Sakamoto Days, heard really good things about that. I still need to read Volume One. Uh, Since these pious lie, I do have that. Not sure if I'm gonna continue collecting it. Uh, I really like these finds, actually. They they're low key, kind of slept on. Uh, Skipping Loafer, no volume one. I'm not sure if I'd pick it up anyways. Same with Shibuya Goldfish, no volume one. Um, but I do kind of want to see a goldfish just absolutely murdering people. Spy Family, mm, yeah, I'm already up to date with that. Um, summertime Rendering, no volume one, kind of whack then. You need a volume one for that series, obviously. They should already have that stocked up. Some slime. I haven't really, really heard people talk about slime that much. I don't know if it's a meme or not, uh, or if it's actually good. Uh, Umineko, uh, which is super damage, not interested. Tokyo Revengers, the Barnes Nobles edition. Um, Undead Unluck. Heard it's. Uh, my friend Tux really likes Undead Unluck, but I've heard it's kind of just average to good, um, or above average, I guess. And then Wand Dance, the newer series, not sure which and the Beast, which hat Atelier, both next to each other. Both are um, series I've heard about recently. And yeah, now we're down to the bottom section. Uh, these next two shelves are some light novels. I don't really know much about light novels. I guess I'll kind of just show you guys a little bit, though. Um, this, I don't really have much to talk about. The only light novel I've ever actually read is Solo Leveling, which I do enjoy. Um, but I know, you know, the... Solo leveling, ex I mean, sorry, the light novel experts sometimes won't always agree with me. All right, so we're back. I apologize if you can hear my car in the background or like the AC in the background, but it is like way too sunny or way too hot. I, it's not even that hot. It's just like maybe the too sunny and just inside the car to be doing this without a little bit of AC with a car running. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Newberry Comics. I am back. Um, we have four volumes from Newberry Comics. They actually had a buy two, buy one, get one 50% off sale, which is not actually the best sale, but um, it's still not bad. It's it, buy one, get one free, or buy two, get one free um, is definitely the best sale. You have to do the math, but um, it's not, I mean, a sale is better than nothing. So I had to return uh, two volumes. Uh, so I had a little bit of money back on that. And then I kind of took advantage of the sale a little bit. So I got volumes two, and three of Gantz, and then also <laughs> volumes four and five of Gantz. I've been meaning to collect more Gantz. They are a little bit expensive at $25, so the fact that I was use, able to use some credit as well as uh, get two of these half off, it's not a bad thing. Um, half off, I think each volume is around like 18 bucks. 
which is not like the worst thing ever. I wouldn't say it's, you know, it's far from a steal, um, but it's not the worst thing ever. And uh, yeah, better than I could find on like Macari or anything like that. But yeah, super happy with that. Now I can continue Gantz. I think there's what, maybe like nine or 10 volumes of the Omnibus out right now. Um, I'm not collecting the singles. I have no interest in trying to get the singles. It's just, in my opinion, probably not worth it. The singles are ridiculously expensive, but I do want to collect the series and I do want to read it. So uh, yeah, I will let you guys know what I think of that when I uh, when I check it out, when I read past volume one. Next up is the bag from Barnes and Nobles. I had more, uh, I had like a $50 gift card. So I used that plus an extra like $30 for this. Uh, there wasn't any sales or anything, but uh, there was a couple series that I wanted and a couple I wanted to continue. So first series, we have Ragna Crimson. This is volume four. Um, I was gonna get three and five. I have up to volume two right now. I was gonna get three and five, but they actually have them for like way cheaper on right stuff, like way cheaper. They're on the sale for like $8 and change or something like, like that. And these re retail for 13. This is actually a great manga to retail for $13. Like this is, I'll, I'll show you why in a second. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying Ragna, Crim uh, Cr Ragna Crimson and um, definitely looking forward to continuing it. Next is a newer series I haven't checked out yet, or newer to me, is uh, Witch Hat Atelier, or Atelier, some, something like that. I've heard people pronounce it, but I forget exactly um, how it's pronounced. But this is volume one, I'm gonna check this out. It looks like a pretty quick read. It doesn't look like there's a ton of text in it. Um, so excited for that. I was gonna get it like the last time I was here, but I kind of passed, I was getting a bunch of other stuff. So um, yeah, picked it up now. Next series, we have volumes seven and eight. Yeah, seven and eight of Call of the Night. This is a super popular manga that I believe should be getting an anime soon. Uh, no, actually the anime is already out. What am I saying? We're on like probably a couple episodes in, but uh, yeah, super hyped up within like my friend group and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, super happy to continue this. I believe volume eight is up to date as of like making this video. Next we have the last series I picked up, which is a series I skipped out on last time because I was going to get it on right stuff. I didn't have this gift card when I came by here, um, but now I'm just going to get volumes four and five off of right stuff. This looks like a really interesting series. I've heard pretty good things uh, from the people that I know that have either read it or collected it and me kind of skimming through it. It looked pretty funny. It looked pretty interesting. Uh, we have Time Stop Hero volumes one, two, and three. So this is volume one right here. Um, uh, the This story is essentially about, I think it's, uh, what do you call it? Like an isekai? where the kid is kind of put into another world or something like that. And he realized he can, he realizes he can stop time. And in doing so he can like, you know, destroy like all these monsters and stuff like that. Uh, but he's also, I believe the main character is also pretty down bad um, and does some kind of sketchy stuff as you can imagine someone with his power could or would do. Whenever I get to my August manga haul, you guys will see in more detail my opinion on the series as I kind of, you know, give more of a rating and stuff like that once we get to that video. But you guys are more than welcome to let me know down in the comments what you guys think if you've read any of these series, uh, especially Witch Hat. And yeah, it's gonna be it for this video. If you wanna enter the giveaway, go ahead and comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. But yeah, I will see you guys in five days with a YouTube post uh, notif uh, announcement type thing. So uh, stay tuned for that. I will also reply to your comments. So uh, make sure you are paying attention to that. And that's gonna be it for the video. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.